Hello Pisces, so this is going to be your reading for October 2024, before I start to let you know if you wanted to get a reading you can find out how to do that on my website and the link is in the description box below. <clears throat> Let's see what we need to know for Pisces. For the month of October 2024. Pisces. Um, they've got a picture of something looks like some like a machine that's fanning the flames of something. Like maybe you'd get on an oil rig or something, like a great big um wind wheel. So we've got that. Fanning the flames, burning desire. Anything else to ask? Oh, they just said atonement. Um, atonement for your sins, but that's not. They don't mean it like that. Atonement's like destiny. So it's like the um, uh, the answer. I think the fanning of the flames is an answer coming actually. Atonement is an answer, right? It's destiny as well, it's judgment. Something coming towards you, like a jet engine as well, showing me a jet engine and how they uh, they kind of burn, right? So it's like fast and really hot and really potent. Pisces healing, so this is Pisces, and we've got your healing here, where we're coming from, energy that we're coming from. Empress, which is rebirth, something new coming along, where you've come from, something new coming along. Brighter, bigger, better, they're saying, we will rebuild her. <laughs> they used to say that at the beginning of the Bionic Woman. We will rebuild her. You will be better. She will be better than before. So it's you, right? You're getting better. Um, death transformation. So you're transforming this month into a bigger, better, brighter version of yourself. Stronger, more resilient, more outgoing, more forthcoming. I saw that fire in the engines and the movement of the fire. Answer is coming in atonement. Answer from outside of yourself. Destiny. <laughs> there you go. Atonement. The answer, destiny, your fate is on the way. That's on the incoming position. In the heart of the reading, brand new beginning in the physical world, Ace of Pentacles. So, just to show you, we've got the star, which is where you're coming from, your healing, Pisces. Uh, you've got healing nature as well, they're saying. So, it's like your, your essential self, right? It's a healing capacity. You have the capacity to heal. You also have the uh, capacity to languish in dream world. You've also got the capacity to go off the rails <laughs> a little bit. Um, I'm not saying you'll do any of these things, but it's just you and a lot of different things. But that one's talking about um, your capacity to heal and being here to heal, almost like a healing journey. That was the Empress, right? So that's brand new beginning in the, in the physical world. And then you have the Death card, which is transformation. So it's like you are transforming. That was the Judgment card, Destiny coming in. Uh, this is another card about new beginnings in the physical world. The Ace of Pentacles, that's right in the middle. This is incoming here. You created a new Queen of um, Fire. There you go. Queen of Fire. She's assertive. She's authoritative. She's creative. She sees around corners, they're saying. You can see things coming. It's vibrational self as well. So vibrational self knows what's incoming future-wise. Um, the power of that intuition, 
the power also of your inspiration. She's very creative. She's about new beginnings as well. Um, force to be reckoned with. So we're going back to that fire element as well. She's holding it. It did look a bit like that. That's a ball with fire, but it was more like a a ball with like a grid in it, you know, so it could fan, push wind through, wind and fire. Earth, wind and fire. <laughs> Earth, wind and fire, whatever. Um, we've got the death card there, right? In transformation, you are reborn. I knew, so that's the answer that's coming. You are reborn from the ashes, they're saying, of what's gone before. That's why it's wind and fire and it's moving forward. Reborn from the ashes, a phoenix rises. She's a phoenix, she comes out of the fire, out of the flames, like walking on hot coals. Transformation is walking on hot coals. Journey of the soul, and it is an extinguishing of the ego. And you're rising into higher self, into vibrational form. So you've got a brand new answer coming in the physical, in terms of your destiny, from you being connected into your whole self, is what I'm getting. Because she's reborn. Feminine, reborn in the physical, but as vibrational, so it's your whole self, right? Down here, we've got ego coming in. Two of swords. So this is where it's saying, they just said the chimes go off. And it's time for the answer to appear. So from the unseen, which is the moon that lies behind the swords. The swords, right, of the ego there cross the moon so it's like what you can't see and you don't have the answer to because the ego can't give the answer that's how come it crosses the unseen it, the ego can't read the future the ego is the part of the self is always like oh i wonder what's going to happen no i've done that <laughs> the worry right oh god what's going to happen now you know that's the ego right can't see the future it, can, it only worries but you have transformation, new beginning in the physical, through uh, the ego. So it's coming through, it's pushing through your ego to bring the answer. And again, it's like that it's all residing in your vibrational axis. So what the truth is coming, basically. And it has to come through eventually from the unseen, transforming into the physical, a brand new from the unseen in terms of your destiny she's three she's three so this is all created and brand new as well let's go down here emperor again a lot of readings getting him this month this is the masculine made manifest the emperor returns the masculine twin makes an appearance as if by magic, returns to the scene of the crime, which is, of course, reunion, physical reunion. So we've got that transforming through the ego, and he's all about ego, functions from ego, masculine energy, denial of the truth, denial of higher self, right? But we've got you coming from the healing space, a brand new beginning. Let's see what's down here. Two come in, two of pentacles, two for the truth. So you've got your twin, twin flame reunion coming, person coming in here, the emperor, rebirth of the emperor here, your destiny, rebirth of you, transformation of the ego. And what can't be seen can then come through, so it's materialising as if by magic and everything falls into place. What's underneath? A brand new journey around love, page of cups, which is of first steps of love, tentative steps, almost, um, you know, like translucent steps of love. So again, I feel like it's yet to appear, what's about to appear, can't be seen, it's in the ether in the death card, and it's behind the scenes in the two of sword. Um, it's ready to burst through in the Empress. It is the masculine in the Emperor. It's your destiny and the judgment is because of you in the Queen. And it just feels like it's just behind the scenes, like waiting to come on stage is your twin flame reunion. Right, so I'm going to get one more out on the Ace of Pentacles because it's right in the middle. It's an Ace. It's really important. Brand new beginning in the physical world. Let's have a look. 
Ace of Cups. Love is the brand new beginning. The one. The Ace is the one. Is the one you love. And the moon's the transit of the moon above. So again, it's coming through the unseen, appearing into the physical, the moon behind. We've got a new moon coming next week on Wednesday, which I think is the 3rd of October. They don't, don't sign me to that. It's around the 3rd. Ah, three, creation, empress, queen of wands. Anyway, the moon is either side of the moon, you know got a few days either, a couple of days either side, a day either side. <laughs> um, we're going to go underneath on the Page of Cups, tentative love, a tryout. Ah, so there's a message as well in the page, it's like an offer of love. It's, an, it's like, um, it's not signed, sealed and delivered because it's not an offer that's been accepted, but the answer's coming. So you're getting an offer of love, fire, um, divine right, destiny. This is the devil card. It's what you're meant for. And that's coming out on the page underneath. So it's love that's meant for you. It's the one again. Um, and it is uh, yet to be seen. Um, let's have another look at some of this. Oh, we could go on the star. We'll have a look at the star. Although it's in the past. It feels like it's way in the past, whatever you've healed from. You know, it feels like you would be quite indignant if anyone said that you had any healing to do, actually. You'd be like, oh, kerfuffle. <laughs> what nonsense. <laughs> I'm thoroughly healed. Let's have a look manifesting you've got everything you need to manifest everything you want basically so yeah you're thoroughly healed that's coming out on there the star this is a uh this card represents brand new beginnings as well in the one but also a manifestation in the four and mastery in the four of the symbols that he's holding or magically you know holding that in the air magic i think they said magic already so that's manifesting. You are thoroughly healed. I'm going to go on the death card, transforming twin flames, the two of cups. So that's what is transformation. Of is the twin flame story. Two of swords from what is not seen through to ego. So it's like the, that means the phone's going to ring. From what is not seen into ego, that's from ether into form from higher self into form. When higher self arrives in form in terms of a twin flame reunion, either the phone's going to ring, the, something's going to chime. They said that before, right? Like the, ch the bells go off, they're saying. In your phone, a ting ting, <laughs> and a text comes in. Ending. And the ten of wands, and that's coming out on the ego down there. It's ending of energy, and it's coming into form. There. Um, one more, should we get one more out? Actually, maybe we'll get two. I'm going to see what this says on the two here. Two pentacles, so that's two people come together. At the end of the story here, the one that you're still in love with, basically. The one where the love exists. Doesn't matter what else there has been, there's one that still represents the answer, basically. Whether you feel it or not, you probably don't if you're at the end of the process. You probably got done sick and tired of the whole process, actually. You probably got no intention of um, being at, at all concerned about what shows up for you. Probably not even watching this video. <laughs> um, but anyway, it does still exist. It's not a thing that can go away. It's, a, it's what you are made of. That's why we're going to go on her next, because that's what you're made of. Here, Queen of Wands created into the physical and one comes in again to become one in the words of the spice girls <laughs> okay so i'm going to leave it at that for you lots of love take care have a good month bye